Happening this morning, students and staff at Harding High School in St. Paul returned for the first time in a week following a deadly stabbing that happened last Friday. Our Bill Keller is live. He's in St. Paul with more on what has been a very different day of classes. Bill, good morning. Good morning, Tom. Yeah, in fact, students have a modified schedule today. They are meeting in grade level assemblies. They are spending most of their day in their advisory class and the district making that decision, knowing that returning to school is going to be anything but normal. Yes, yeah, been a tough uh, six days. This morning, 1700 students returned to Harding High School one week after 15 year old Devin Scott was fatally stabbed during a fight in the hallway. I think it's a mixed um, uh, mixed kind of feelings, right? Some students are anxious to, to come back. They want to be here and they're ready and um, they wish maybe that we would have returned back sooner. Other students are apprehensive or nervous um, or feeling, yeah, just nervous to be here. New safety protocols are now in place, including increased hallway supervision. Students will only be allowed in the hallways during class time with a chaperone. Students will also be escorted to the bathrooms and those visits will be supervised. This morning, school staff says their focus is on creating space for connection, discussion, reflection and community. Members of the district crisis team will also be on hand to support students. The toughest thing is that planning and grieving at the same time. Uh, and uh, it's, uh, it, you know, it's, it takes a lot. You know, it takes a whole village. Many hands make light work. Um, and it was not light work. Uh, for the last uh, six days. Last night, parents gathered at the high school to hear more about the plan to keep their children safe, but some students say they could do more to avoid violent confrontations. I've definitely seen lots of situations where fights are easily escalated just because somebody gave somebody the wrong look at the wrong time. So I feel like if we learn to better control ourselves and our emotions and our instincts, we would we'd benefit a lot from that. In addition to a third school support liaison, there are two St. Paul police officers stationed outside of the school building as an immediate resource. Students, by the way, will also be instructed to put away and not use their cell phones during class time. As for how long these new safety measures will be in place, Tom, the district says it will be monitoring this on a weekly basis and they will make adjustments as needed. Back to you. Yeah, some big changes there. Bill, thanks so much. Bill Keller live in St. Paul.